What's up creators, it's Curtis, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to submit custom orders through My Designs, this feature we rolled out yesterday. So let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm on the listings page. The first place we need to go to is the order page. So click orders, and up at the top right, there's a new option. You click the create order button, and this will pull up our product catalog. Now I was in here earlier going through the process, and what's great about this you can see as we actually save the process like a draft order if you don't submit it. So you can either choose to start a new order or continue. So I'll just go start a new order. And now you have our print on demand product catalog here. So you could scroll through and basically see all the different products we offer. And there are a lot more coming soon. But right now I believe we have around 75 to 80 different products you can choose from. So let's go to the top. I'm just gonna choose the Bella 3001 t-shirt. And on this step, It'll show you the different printers that we integrate with and the different pricing, et cetera, along with colors and whatnot. So I'm gonna choose my designs is obviously the cheapest price here. Has quite a few color options as well. And now on this step is really, really simple. You got the sizes, you know, small all the way through 3XL for this particular product through this printer. And of course, all the different colors. So you can change this and see it. You got the blank t-shirt here in this case, the mock-up. Uh, now, in order to add your design to this t-shirt, you click canvas which actually opens up our designer. Now from here, you can drag and drop, I or click this, and I have this Snauzer design, so I'll just, I'll just upload that now. But you can either drag and drop your design into here, um, or just go through our elements library or photos and kind of create your own design. We have a lot of different um, categories here, pre-made graphics, you could add text, etc. But really what a lot of people are doing is wanting to order samples of a particular t-shirt to kind of see the quality, the print quality, the design placement, etc. So you can see I have these schnauzers upload. I uploaded some earlier and one of them actually has a background removed. So let me find, that's not it. You can see it has a white background. That's not it, so it's this one. There we go. So I got this one I uploaded earlier. We'll just use it as a, an example. Of course, you can resize this, position it where you want. You can align here. It's right in the center, it's towards the top. I'm gonna hit save. And now you can see we got our design. Um, so I'm gonna adjust the color to a lighter color here. Let's probably go with, you got the heather colors and you can see the heather texture in there as well, but let's go with like a cream maybe. Actually, we'll just go with white. So there you go. So now we got our design uploaded. We're on the Bell 3001 t-shirt. You can see the price up here, the quantity, etc. Now I could choose back print too and go through that same process, open this up, adjust this, and get rid of it on this particular one. But you can adjust that, add your own design if you wanna do a front and back, or if you just wanna do a back print, you disable front here and just select back, upload your design, etc. So that's how that works. Now, with that being said, I wanna add another product just to show you that you can add more than one product. You can actually add as many as you like. So let's add product. And maybe we'll do like a sweatshirt. Go with the Gildan 18,000. And again, we'll go with Swift POD on this particular product. Normally I'd probably choose the same printer. That way you're not pay paying two separate shipping charges. Um, you can bundle them together into one package and send them out that way. But for this example, this will work. So again, I'm gonna just select probably something that's pre-made here. We'll just go with this heart. Um, again, you can drag and drop your designs if you already have made. Let's click save, got that. We'll choose another, we'll go with sand and we'll go with an Excel here. Um, so in this case, we got you know the Bell 3001, the Gildan 18,000. Again, I could continue to add other products if I wanna sample multiple products like mugs, stickers, and any product we offer. But you can also rotate through these, which is great. So if you, may, if you wanna go back and make changes, you can click through these, these products here pretty easily, make the changes, et cetera, which is nice. So with that being said, I got these two products selected, got the colors and sizes that I want. And now let's go to continue to shipping. And from this step, it's automatically gonna import your uh, details from your return address in My Designs. Now you can obviously adjust this. So you can put your name in here, um, put in the address you want to ship to, the city, the postal code, the state, obviously, and the country. And once you have everything where you want it, you can just go to preview order. Now on this step, it's kind of like a final step. You can choose the quantity. So if you want to add you know, more than more than one, you can adjust that here or just get rid of something and hit zero to delete. But you can kind of preview the print partner, the color, and the product, along with the size, and the, obviously the mock-up and the print files. So this is the last step. Basically, you can see the total cost here for these two products, the total cost for shipping. You can see where it's going to. Of course, you can edit that. You can see it's flat rate shipping. In the future, we'll have uh, priority shipping as well added. But 
this is how it works. So let's say everything looks good. You just submit order. And now what that'll do, it'll take about 30 or so seconds. You can see the order submitted. It'll appear here under manual review, which is what you want. Uh, that way you actually submit it and then it pops back up. And from there you can choose the payment method, etc. cetera. Uh, by, by default, it's gonna use the payment method you have on file to cover your print on demand orders already. But in the near future, we will make that uh, where you can select it and adjust it. But by default, um, it'll appear here under manual orders when it's ready. Let me refresh the page. Because again, this is just alpha, so it's not quite ready. But when it is, it'll appear here. So I'll show that to you when it's ready. All right, so that order is here. It took about 20 to 30 seconds. I refreshed the page, and you can see it's under manual review. And it has the My Designs logo because, again, it's a custom order. You're submitting directly through our platform to our printers. So instead of having to publish it to Etsy or Shopify, then buy it that way. This is much more intuitive. It's been highly requested. Now you can sample products or just buy products that you want for yourself or a friend, family member, etc. Um, but let's click on this order. Again, you can see our two items. And you can also make changes here if you want. Again, you can adjust the quantity. Um, you can adjust the actual product, the variant. So if you want to adjust the size, the colors, you can do that. You can actually replace the print file if you want to just go through and make any changes here. Let me click that just to show you how that works. Same process as before. But essentially, if everything looks good, all you have to do, again, you got the price here, is just approve order. That will submit it to My Designs. We'll charge your card and then get it sent to the printer. And that's it. Works like everything else in My Designs. But that is how you can create custom orders uh, for you, for family members, for friends, or to just sample products and submit them directly through my designs without having to publish them, publish them elsewhere. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this feature. It's an alpha. We'll continue to improve the UI, but overall the functionality is there. So enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk soon.